Hi everyone, this is Sanan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're taking a look. We're actually in St. Agathe, which is about an hour's drive from Montreal. We're taking a look at this 2008 Mercedes. This is the B200 Turbo. I left the engine on. Or, sorry, the engine off. We've done a lot of the inspection so far. I still have to do the um, the paint thickness verification. I just wanted to show you the the mileage or sorry the VIN number and the manufacturing date. And then when we go into the mileage we'll see that the car has 227,953. I didn't start the ignition yet, so we'll leave it off. I'm just going to continue around. There was uh, rust protection uh, that was done in 2019. The only comment I have on the paint is here, a little... Uh, something has been uh, repaired. Better... Oui. So, uh... There we go. And we have the folding seats. I've taken pictures. We did fold the seat, so this piece comes off and then this piece folds. I did take pictures of everything. And there is a two-layer system on the, um, on the rear storage. So you have that piece that can go up. So we have this piece that can change levels. It can go up and down. And you have the spare tire here. You have the first aid kit on this side. You also have the um, the shade or vanity. And the rear. Keep off. And they and it does come off. Yeah. So. You can actually remove that piece altogether. It has a lot of space in the back. All the windows are original. You can see some damage to the seats, but this is from regular use. It's nothing, uh, it's nothing pertaining to this vehicle in specific. So here's the front end. And we have Do you like to open the the hood? Yeah, please sir. So we're gonna open the hood in this uh So under the hood, you can see the the engine. Um, I did a oil quality test. The oil is a little bit low, and it needs a replacement um, soon. I also did a brake fluid humidity content. I also checked the uh, coolant freezing temperature, and uh, I've uh, seen the service record. So there was a lot done to the car. In terms of suspension work and uh, and other items such as brakes in the rear, the winter tires are in a pretty good shape. I did see the summer tires as well. So here you have the you have the. Uh, 
Nord Frost. It's come and from the... Uh, these are from 2015. Manufacturing date. So they're a couple of years old. 205-55 R16. They're still good for this season. They're, they're, they still have tread left. We have yet to take the car for a test drive, but we will do so uh, soon. There was some rust repair areas. You can see that have been done around. I'll do that as part of the paint thickness verification. Back and you have the towing hitch. And the other carriage. I'm just gonna change the image now. Other carriage is in an okay shape. All right. So now you can see from the top, you can see that the roof has uh, the panoramic roof as well. So we'll just get the paint thickness gauge. We'll take a look at the paint quickly. So that's original. That's how you know if uh, there was some rust repair done. So this panel has been repainted because of the rust. So there was some rust repair done here. Here, we're almost back to normal. Yep. And then driver's side front. Again, we're at normal range. Starting to get a little bit thicker. And then you can see the front quarter panel as well had some uh, rust repair here this the hood is original oh, sorry just getting used to this uh, this unit it's original and then we go into here it's a little bit thick but then you can tell that whatever happened was actually here. There is the line for the repair. Like if I was to do a sample, you can see that this is significantly thicker than right here, which means that the repair was done mainly here. And you can see it here as well. So if I go into the, to the passenger side, you can see a little bit of rust repair done here too. And then back to normal here. is almost normal paint actually it is normal then we get back here and it's a little bit thicker so you can tell that the quarter panels all four had had some rust repair done to them and then the roof is original I did also a computer scan on the uh, engine transmission airbag and ABS systems and um, Everything checked out okay. There was a check engine light at the time of the at the time of the inspection. I'm gonna start the engine now so you'll see it. So you see the check engine light is on. This is the secondary air injection system. There was a, a maintenance code uh, on the transmission, on the CVT transmission. We have yet to take the car for a test drive. So we will be taking it for a test drive shortly. I'm just testing all the windows. I'm told that they're working. Everything is working fine. I don't see any issues there. You can see the, the passenger side. 
and then you see the back windows they are working and then on the driver side the windows are working so we'll check the mirrors on the test drive we'll check the wipers and the cruise control etc but well, just a few things but for now we'll take it uh, one last walk around and maybe check the suspension so I know that there was a lot of suspension work done to the car so we'll just take a quick look at that for now sorry for the image quality there you have it and the shocks are Bilstein these are good quality shocks that went into the front uh, end of the car I know that the battery was Um, I know that the battery was uh, original, the battery is original, but the brakes in the back have been replaced. So there was some maintenance, a lot of maintenance done to the car. It's in the to the front. The tire is a little bit low on air, but honestly, not a big deal. Sorry about that. Alright, well this has been uh, Sinan from Car Inspected and that was a pre-purchase inspection on this 2008 Mercedes. Uh, it's a B200. And we're in Saint Agathe, uh, just north, about an hour north of Montreal. Thank you for watching.